Oh yeah. I promise you this is a skincare routine. Hey what's up, hello, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emma. And if you're not new here, my name is still Emma. And that is my OG intro from like high school. I don't really know why that's coming out to play today, but that's fine. When you're watching this, it probably won't be a Friday, but today is Friday. I have just finished a long, hard week of mahi. I'm rewarding myself with a kombucha. Now I'm going to take you guys through my skincare routine. Now I'm kind of confused, right? I'm looking in a mirror right now at myself. If I look like this, I'm looking in the mirror at the camera. And if I look like this, I'm looking straight at the camera. There's so many. I don't really know where to look. And that's fine. We'll just do whatever feels natural. It's probably really echoey. I do apologize. I wish that I could do this like a mic'd up skincare routine, but I don't have road lapel mics at the ready to go right now. We're just going to deal with the lovely bathroom acoustics and you don't even hear for the acoustics, you hear for my amazing skincare routine. So let's get into that. Before we get too carried away, this skincare routine is for all of the gals or the guys out there who have dry and sensitive skin. I have specifically, I have an autoimmune disease called psoriasis. Essentially, if you haven't heard of it before, you produce too many skin cells and then your skin gets really dry and sore and itchy and flaky and just not that nice. I do take other medication for that, but my skin is still super sensitive to any like weird products, changes in weather, changes in diet, like that sort of stuff. I'm going to take you guys through the skincare routine I have literally had for years. Like if you've seen, I think I've done one video previously on a skincare routine. That video was sponsored. I still use those products today. This video is not sponsored. So I will also be talking about other products that I use as well as the other products that I have used previously. Normally I do this right before I go to bed. I also do skincare in the morning, which is basically everything else except minus the face washing because I do that in the shower. But um, I've got this handy dandy little headband here, so I'm going to put that on. Um, how does this work? Um, I don't know. That doesn't seem quite right. You know what? It'll do the job. First things first, I have a bit of sink right in front of me. You guys can't see it, but um, there's the water. I'm going to put the plug in and we're going to fill the sink up with a bit of warm water. I only wear makeup like once every two months. If I'm wearing makeup, it's for a special occasion. I bought these little, f I have two of them actually. Here's one and here's the other. I bought these back when I was in high school because I saw someone talking about how they're like, um, I don't even know how to explain it. They're just like kind of fluffy, like microfiberish kind of. I bought them because people said they were really good for removing makeup. And they are, they're great for removing makeup. So if you wear makeup on the daily, highly recommend. But I found that they're way softer on my skin than a traditional face cloth. Like something like this, like I feel like that's just really hard on your skin, like low-key exfoliating. When you have dry skin, you don't really need a helping hand when it comes to exfoliating your skin because it's going to do that itself. These are just really soft on my skin and they do the job just as well as a regular face cloth. And so I've actually gone and I've started just using these on their own. So anyway, let that soak up some warm water for me. This is the... I'll hold it up in the camera so you guys can see. Focus! This is... Oh, I'm going to have to hold my candy. That's really awkward, eh? This is the face wash that I use. It's from Avene. I've been using the same face wash literally for years, like three or four years. It's just the gentle milk cleanser. Um, it's not cheap. It's 40 bucks. That's not cheap at all. That's, that's, that's actually really embarrassing. But it does the job and it's great. So anyway, I just do, it's really on its last legs too. Oh man, I really don't have money to buy a new one of these. Normally I would do one pump, which is about that much. Not, it's not much product at all, but since I don't have makeup to take off, then I don't need much. I just rub that in, in a circular motion across my whole face. If I'm feeling crafty, I might go down my neck as well. But we're really running low on products, so we will not be doing that this evening. I tried for a while letting it sit on my skin before I wiped it off, but um, it didn't help at all, so I stopped doing that. Bring out my little face cloth here. Also, I think I forgot to mention, these are literally just from a pharmacy. They came in a two-pack. These face cloths are so soft on your skin. Now, I'm not wearing makeup today, but if I was wearing makeup today, I would go ahead with my cleanser, like literally like I just did. Then I would follow that up with some just regular this is really fancy my cellar water I've had this again for like four years just shows how often I use it not very but if I was wearing makeup today I would go in with the micellar water just on like a cotton pad and just wipe off all of the excess makeup that's still left over after I've washed my face and then to get my eye makeup off again actually no 
I would recommend this eye makeup remover. I, again, I don't really wear makeup that often, but on the odd occasion that I do, or if I just happen to wear mascara one day, this is next level for taking it off without any irritation. Even like waterproof mascara, it just comes right off. I'm guessing this is also probably like 40 bucks though, but again, the bottle lasts so long. It's this gentle eye, yeah, gentle eye makeup remover from Avene as well. It says to use this within six months, but I've had it for like three years and it still works fine. So whatever. This is kind of a little bit of a segue, but I get a lot of questions about my eyelashes and they're quite long. I actually use a lash serum and I think this is probably a good time to talk about it. This is again, not sponsored. It's just this lash serum, flash lash serum from Farmers. It was like 50 bucks, but I tried the Lash Fridays, not to throw them under the bus because I've heard great things about them, but for me personally with sensitive eyes or sensitive eyelids or sensitive skin. How do I explain this? Like how you get psoriasis in your scalp, I ended up with it like that on my, like on my eyelids in my lash line. Not fun. So I stopped using that and I've gone back to the flash serum, which I have been using since like August last year. And I just do that like at night while I'm doing my skincare. On the topic of eyes, the eye... Wow. I'm really struggling to get my words out today. On the topic of eyes, the eye cream that I use... Shocker, it is also from Avene. The Soothing Eye Contour Cream. I know this bottle is so minuscule, but trust me, it lasts like a good six months at least. It's meant to last six months, like on the thing. It lasts at least six months and it's fantastic. And this is bottle of also on its last legs. I'm about to have to dish out some cash for some more skincare. I just take like the tiniest, tiniest little, like not even a pea size amount. It's very small. Oh no! I hate when you drop a lid and you're scared something good on the drain. And then I just divide that, like a little bit of each eye, and then I just rub it on the eyelid and then underneath my eye as well. I've been using that same eye cream for like six years now and it is just the best. Then we move on to the actual face. Now what do I do for my actual face? You might, oh, oh, that was not part of the script. Now what I do for my actual face varies on how my skin is feeling. For the most part, as you know, uh, mm, mm, trying to keep my skin here to a minimum, but I just, I do have my favorites and every now and again I might splurge. My favorite to use on my face. This is also from Avene and I found out about this literally only like a couple months ago when I had a really bad flare up. It is the Revitalizing Nourishing Cream. It comes in this little pot. As you can see, you probably can't tell actually, but it is empty. I don't even know. I don't know why I still have that. I should throw that away. I haven't bought a new one yet because that costs like $50, $60. So we won't be doing that. But in the meantime, what I have been using since I started uni, so like just over three years, is this Soothing Radiance Mask. This is meant to be a face mask. So you're meant to lather it on and then wipe it off. But my sensitive skin gals will understand that when you lather it on, your skin just soaks it up. So there's not really any point in it being a face mask. So I just use it like a moisturizer. Since this is a vein, it is still pricey. Again, it probably lasts like six months, but I found when I had a flare up recently that this was actually too thick for my skin. And so I resorted to this. This I was gifted with like, just gifted, like I didn't have to promote it or anything, but I found it when I was having my flare up and like literally at this point, I'm willing to try anything. So I tried it and it is great. So it's this Dermal Therapy Very Dry Face Cream. I actually rate the Dermal Therapy stuff and it is a heck of a lot cheaper than Avene. So basically just depending on how the day is going, how my skin's feeling, what I've got left pretty much in the bottle, I will decide on one of these two moisturizers for my face. Um, I actually have more of the Dermal Therapy one left at the moment and that is also cheaper, so I'm just gonna do that right now. But I just do cheek, cheek, nose, chin, and I do on my neck as well. And I just rub that in. Now you will notice there is an SPF step missing from my skincare right now. And I'm not a fan of it at all because obviously it's super important to be sun safe. But unfortunately, my skin is just rejecting every kind of SPF at the moment, which is so incredibly frustrating. So I have not been using SPF on my face for a number of months now, and I'm not happy about it, because obviously that's not good. If you have sensitive skin and you use an SPF on your face, please let me know, because at this point I'm willing to try anything. <laughs> but anyway, that is my skincare routine, so I can take this funky looking headband off now. Thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you, um took something from this. If I remember or if I can find it, I will link 
the products that I mentioned down below just to make your guys' lives a little bit easier. But apart from that, stay safe, stay well, make someone smile, and I'll see you in my next video. How do I don't really like. Focusing. G7X. Hello. Is this whole thing being blurry? Are you kidding me right now? Oh, I'm trying to read Spanish. No, that's French. Cheapers are nearly eaten.